Hi my friends, thank you so much for tuning in today. This is Shakwe Tuya, day number 18. So I always try to show you where I am. Let me, as I start my talk, God bless you so much for joining me. Thank you for the feedback. Thank you for connecting with me. You can see I am somewhere close to downtown Phoenix. There is downtown Phoenix is way there. We can see a little bit of it. So today I tried a new route. Uh, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. It's, it's feeling a lot like Christmas. There's some sense of quietness. The roads are not, are not busy. The trail, the hiking trail is quiet today. There weren't a lot of people. So here you are, this beauty. And uh, glad to connect with you. So today I want to talk about the grace that finds you where you are and doesn't leave you. So if you're listening to this or you're watching me, you probably have overcome something one time, two times, three times, four times, or many times. And you probably are a testament to that statement that the grace of God finds you where you are and never leaves you. I have a testimony about that myself. Many times the grace has found me where I was and lifted me and took me to places that I never imagined was possible. So I want to talk about that today. So number one, I'd like to say that if you're willing to work more than you're being paid, eventually you'll be paid more than you're working. And then I'd also like to say, do not set a time limit or put a lead on your dreams because someone will notice you and will help you realize those dreams. God will send people to help you fulfill your destination or your destiny or your vision. And always to believe, always believe and be focused, be focused always. So there's a guy called Cesar Milan. He was born in Mexico and he immigrated to the United States in 1990. When he was 13, or as a kid, he really wanted to be a dog, uh, a dog walker, a dog whisperer. He was inspired by a television show, uh, I think it's called Rin Tin Tin. And he would go to his parents and ask the parents, to, uh, ask his parents whether he could become the best dog whisperer in the world. So when he was 20, 20, 22, I think, uh, he came to the United States to pursue that dream and he came here illegally so he said he only had a hundred dollars and he was smuggled to the United States by someone so he found himself in the streets of San Diego he didn't know anyone he had used up the hundred dollars that he had and he started looking for uh, a job to walk dogs and he did it so well did it so well and gained a reputation that he made a name for himself. He had the option to become a dishwasher. He had the option to become a car wash, uh, to, to do car wash. Those were easily available jobs for him that he could put food in this table. But he knew what he came here for. He wanted to pursue that dream to become the best dog whisperer in the whole world, as he puts it. So after he gained his own rep good reputation in Los Angeles, he went to, not to Los Angeles, in San Diego, he went to Los Angeles. That's where he wanted to have his dream realized. As soon as he got to Los Angeles, he went through yellow pages, looking for kennels, calling them so that he could work with them to, to clean up. So he knew he had to start from the bottom. So cleaning kennels was no problem for him. He said and then the next thing he went to Inglewood the neighborhood Inglewood if you've heard of it I think that's where uh, Serena Williams and Venus Williams grew up it can be a dangerous neighborhood they say but he went there knocked at people's doors and asked them if he could walk the dogs for if you could walk their dogs for free and people trusted him so he said he would walk 
30 to 40 dogs at once for free. He would take them for miles and train them and play with them, teach them discipline, have command, and he would bring them back and the owners were very impressed by it. So he gained a good reputation and word went around town and the newspapers heard about him. So LA Times sent a reporter to come and interview him to do a story about him. And he said they did a story on a Saturday and the reporter was so impressed by him and asked him this question, what's next for you? I see that you have a great thing going. What would you want for yourself? And with no hesitation, he said, I want to own my own television show. So they did their story on a Saturday and he said on Monday, he had several TV producers lining up to his door asking him what kind of TV show he wants. And they say the rest is history. Today, Cesar Milan has written a couple of bestseller books and he owned a television show for nine years, a successful TV show for dogs for nine years. The grace of God finds you where you are and does not leave you there. So this adds to what I've been saying. Be specific with your dreams. People will, God will send people to you. So you got to know what you want and then just focus. It can be really easy, guys. I think the many stories that I'm reading is beginning to build faith in me that it's really easy to, to, to achieve your dream. Yet, it takes a lot of hard work. So had he not known what he wanted, we wouldn't be talking about him today. But the grace of God, don't be discouraged. The grace of God will find you where you are and will not leave you there. So I wanted to share that today. I hope you're inspired by that story. Don't give up on your dreams. Dream bigger. If Caesar could do it, you could do it. The grace of God will find you where you are and will not leave you there. So thank you so much for tuning in today. I appreciate you guys. I'll show you one more time where I am. I hope you can see it. Uh, let's see. I hope I can flip the camera. Let me see if I can so you can see more. Oh, it is so bright, I can't even see my own camera. But thank you for tuning in. I will see you again tomorrow. God bless you. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Happy New Year. And all the happiness that you can get. There you go. Happy, happy, 